at the radar. Radar showing us where there's snow, the blue, the darker blue, the heavier snow, and then where there's rain, that's in the green. That's what we're seeing right now uh, throughout the Northeast. And when it's all said and done, some spots going to pick up 12 to 18 inches of snow. That's a foot and a, to a foot and a half in some places. Timing it out for you right now. And we can see here again, three o'clock this afternoon, uh, Eastern time, we're looking at snow throughout parts of northern New Jersey, New York, moving into New England, and it is going to be heavy snow at times so far. We've seen reports of an inch an hour. And that's what we're also expecting. And we're watching some of the heaviest snow also be moving into Maine, but this is now the overnight hours. So, so many locations will be waking up to a lot of snow on the ground. This is what's happening in the Northeast tonight. Tomorrow it will be out of here by the afternoon. And then there's this. We're watching a clipper that's moving through the Midwest in the upper Midwest here. Here's Minneapolis snow, the heaviest now just to the south. And we're looking all the way down to Iowa and close to St. Louis, just to the west, starting to see some of that snow kind of filter into the scene here. And then around Des Moines, you over to Newton here, that's some of the heavier snow. So we're getting some snow here in Iowa, central Iowa, dealing with that. When this is over, when this snow is done, we're going to be seeing on the ground, in some cases, one to three inches of snow throughout parts of the Midwest, and that does include a big portion of western Illinois. And looking right now for today, you can see the snowy spots in blue, and it's going to be a snowy tonight. Once again, part of the Appalachians, Virginia, even Tennessee, Kentucky, and North Carolina. Jen? All right, you know, there's nothing we can do about it. We just have to embrace it for the Thanksgiving holiday. Well, how about your seven day forecast? Let's start it off with today. And of course, we are following winter storm Cato up and down the eastern coastline. Big time snow out there, more than a foot. Chris just told you all the details out there. Then the Midwest, there's your snow. West Coast is quiet. The South is nice. Temperatures in the 50s, Florida, Georgia, Alabama, you're all going to be dry out there. Here comes tomorrow on Thanksgiving. Things really quiet down uh, for the Northeast. You can see for yourself. We'll be looking at a little bit of snowfall setting up for western parts of PA as well as into New York. That is some of that lake effect snow. West Coast starts to see some rain out there. While it's going to be quiet travel for you today, now you have to try to come back home uh, and deal with the uh, rain and the snow. Here comes Friday. Snow moving into parts of California. This is certainly going to be badly needed. And right now we're going to let Chris pick up from what yeah, I was talking about. Badly needed, but yeah. not necessarily at this time. Time, right. You know, it's like, really? well, we need the you rain. Come but on it's, Monday. It has to be when we're going to go home, yeah, come on, we're at break. work. But Saturday. Yes, into the Bay Area, into the Central Valley, you'll be dealing with uh, some of that rain. Bargain shoppers need to add the umbrella to their stash. But if they're really yes. serious, they don't care. They just go out in the rain. Right. South. But you got to be careful, though, driving <laughs> on those uh, wet roads. And meanwhile, it's going to be quiet. Great weather. Temperature is a little bit cool for this time of the year. And then into Sunday, start to see some more mess when you're heading back home. And a balmy 44 in Chicago. All right. Have a great Thanksgiving. And we'll be back in 60 seconds. Currently in our area, 68 degrees under cloudy skies. Today, overcast, high 68, winds north-northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, some clouds this evening will give way to mainly clear skies overnight, low 53. Thursday, mainly sunny, high 74, winds north-northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. A winter storm Kato is causing major holiday headaches and ice and snow already falling from the mid-Atlantic to Maine. Some places could see more than a foot by Thanksgiving. And travel conditions are deteriorating fast. 2,000 flights already delayed or canceled. And roads, well, they will become a major concern as temperatures drop. Everything you need to know of your travel over the next 24 hours right here, right now. Thank you so much for
for joining us for Weather Center Live. I'm Vivian Brown. And I'm Alex Wallace, Winter Storm Cato. It is moving up the East Coast right now on the busiest travel day of the year. Yeah, and it is already taking its toll. About 19 million people are under winter storm warnings at this hour. And according to Flight Aware, more than 1,900 flights into or out of the United States are delayed, and more than 500 flights have been canceled. Oh, what a mess. Well, the roads also a big concern. The Sunshine Skyway in Shenandoah National Park, well, that's closed. And the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation is asking drivers to avoid I-81 during this storm. And we got a live look right now at some of the conditions in and around New York as well as D.C. And it's not pretty there in New York. D.C. also you've been battling a sort of switching in between the rain and the snow. Snow falling earlier than expected there in and around the uh, New York City area. So start to see that transition a little earlier. We could see some of the issues on the roadways become a bit more problematic as we head on through the rest of our afternoon. Let's get the very latest on Winter Storm Cato now with Vivian. All right, thanks very much, Alex. And we are following this storm for you with a fine tooth comb. We're watching it. Winter Storm Cato, it is the third winter storm of the season. We've been naming them, of course, and this one will be a big one as it moves across the Northeast from the Mid-Atlantic into the Northeast, as a matter of fact. Let's kind of push this on along because we're already watching, again, a rain and snow mix around the D.C. area, moving into Philadelphia, New York City, as well as eventually into Boston. Again, it is all associated with Winter Storm Cato. So let's move this on along. Can we push it on along, please? Um, unfortunately, we're having some computer problems here, technical glitches. But here's a look at the local radar, again, out of the D.C. area in Baltimore. Again, you can see the temperatures slightly above freezing, so it's kind of a wet snow right now. But so as soon as you go into the higher terrain, of course, it's all changing over to snow. And it's generally rain right along the immediate coast here. And as we move northward toward Philadelphia, again, a mixture of rain and snow being reported in the Philadelphia area. But as we skirt even farther north toward New York City, again, starting to change over, mix in with a little bit of snow in the New York City area. Three to five inches are possible here before all is said and done. And even as we head up to Boston, of course, the green that's indicating where the rain is, and that's mainly out on the Cape. But as soon as you go into Boston, certainly on the west side of town, it is changing over to all snow as we speak with a temperature in the Worcester area of only 31 degrees. So the big picture does show the extensive snow that we're watching right now. Again, rain right along the immediate coast, but eventually some of that rain will even change over to a little bit of snow as that cold air kind of pushes toward the coastal areas. Generally, visibilities upwards uh, about two miles in some cases, but look at this in Manchester, only a quarter of a mile with some light snow. So definitely a wintry scene here as we continue to follow winter storm Cato for you. We were telling you about it yesterday and we knew this would happen. So today is the day. And before all is said and done, we're talking about as much as 12 to 18 inches over some of the interior regions. But again, some of the big cities will pick up some significant amounts as well. Alex? Oh, no doubt the weather is a big concern for travelers, but so is the sheer volume of people who are on the roads and in the airports. This morning on AMHQ, Sam Champion spoke to the director of aviation with the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey about how his team is handling the holiday crowds. I'm standing outside LaGuardia Airport. By the way, we're getting a delivery of fresh fruit to some of the area uh, restaurants inside there. Thomas Bosco, Aviation Director, thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you, um, Sam. We've been standing outside looking at the rain conditions and trying to get people to the airport safely. Once you get past those revolving doors, what's going on inside? Well, things appear to be moving very smoothly inside. Um, Port Authority and our industry partners uh, have put on appropriate resources to ensure that people are getting processed through the airport as efficiently as possible. Yeah. Now, the one thing I got to say kudos to you for, because when I walk in through the doors here and check the boards, the delay boards, things have been looking pretty good this morning, but we've been getting some information about flights being held coming into this area because of the low clouds. So what do you expect for the rest of the day? Well, there are cancellations, flight cancellations. There are delays. So the best advice I can give to air travelers is to call ahead. Call your specific airline, find out about the status of your flight before you come to the airport. 
Also here at LaGuardia, parking is at a premium because of the construction activities. Yeah, 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 I gotta say. So uh, call ahead, 1-800-AIR-RIDE, A-I-R-R-I-D-E, okay. or go to the Port Authority's website at panynj.gov. Okay. You can find out about the availability of parking. I would say leave about 90 minutes to get to the airport to be able to check in and comfortably get to your gate. Um, if you get here and you need assistance, you can seek out one of our friendly and knowledgeable uh, <laughs> red jacketed customer care representatives. Okay. They'll be able to help you. All right. And uh, if you have time, browse our retail shops and sample some of our fine dining facilities. I, I do. There. I frequently do, by the way, because there are a couple of nice places right in there yeah. that have great coffee and breakfast sure. this morning. All right, well, let's follow how all this is going to play out for the rest of the afternoon. Notice here as we head through 2 o'clock, that rain snow line just hugging the 95 corridor here for you. As we progress through the rest of the day, we start to see now pretty much 95, and even the coastal spots here along the co coast will get into some of that snow. Heading into tomorrow morning, your Thanksgiving morning, it's a much, much quieter scenario here for us across the northeast. So here you are in D.C., rain mixing with some snow. That's what we've been dealing with around town. Uh, we've been looking at national the airport there. You've been seeing some light rain, occasionally some snow, but Dulles mostly looking at snow at this point. So mixing here and there with little accumulation. Roadways, though, could become a little slushy at times. We'll watch for that. Then tonight we turn to just mostly cloudy skies and wet roadways here for you. Tomorrow, cloudy early for you, and then we'll see some clearing as we head on to the afternoon. So making your way back from those Thanksgiving destinations, you'll be looking pretty good. Here's how the snow uh, totals uh, sort of shape up in and around the mid-Atlantic. Again, there's DC you're sort of right in that range of potentially getting about one to three inches of snow. But as you head to the north and the west, bigger totals, places like Frederick, three to five. Of course, we'll continue to track Cato and what is next for you in for your travels. Nourished. Rescued. Protected. Given new hope. During the Subaru Share the Love event, Subaru owners feel it too. Because when you take home a new Subaru, we donate $250 to helping those in need. We'll have given $50 million over seven years. Love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Today, I'll show you some ways to get more out of your Thanksgiving meal. And I'll show you the best way to nap. When buying fresh green beans, look for this snap. That means they're really fresh. And this snap means you're really napping. Now with your delicious butterball turkey from Walmart, roast it upside down for the first hour. Do this for the first hour. Then flip it. Ditto! For the juiciest turkey yet. Next, you... Oh, never mind. Walmart has everything you need for your Thanksgiving meal at unbeatable prices. Guaranteed by Savings Catcher. Say hello to the new weather.com. A beautiful new design with weather as the main story. The information you need, the site you rely on, the brand you trust. The new weather.com. The final piece in the Weather Channel redesign. The Weather Channel. It's amazing out there. Currently in our area, 68 degrees under cloudy skies. Today, overcast, high 68, winds north-northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, some clouds this evening will give way to mainly clear skies overnight, low 53. Thursday, mainly sunny, high 74, winds north-northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. to help you survive another Thanksgiving. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, it's a three-day marathon of weather survival. Survive the feast on the Weather Channel. Black Friday savings start right now. So let's open the door to low prices. Yeah, wide open. Let's hurry and save on appliances here and here. From top to bottom. Shop the biggest names and the season's best savings. Let's open up new possibilities with Black Friday prices. That's how to holiday. 
Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Save over 800 bucks on the Samsung French door refrigerator. Toenail fungus? Don't hide it, fight it with new FDA approved Jublia. Jublia, the fenaconazole 10% topical solution, is a prescription medicine proven to treat fungal infections of the toenails. Use Jublia as instructed by your doctor. Most common side effects include ingrown toenail, application site redness, itching, swelling, burning or stinging, blisters, and pain. Fight it! Ask your doctor now if new Jublia is right for you. I go to Burlington to buy coats. I had no idea they had gifts. Gifts for everyone. So many things. Hundreds of gifts, hundreds in savings. Everybody gets what they want, and I don't spend a fortune. Everyone's happy. Thank you for joining us on the Weather Channel. We're trying to keep you updated on the travel delays that we have across the country. Most of them are in the Northeast because that's where we have winter storm Cato. Look at the Kennedy Airport, New York City. Well, we have over an hour delay, almost an hour and a half, but LaGuardia, a three hour delay being reported. Philadelphia, about an hour. No delays being reported at Boston yet. Baltimore, you're looking okay as well, officially, and even at Reagan International, no official reports of delays. But again, Winter Storm Cato is definitely in the area across the Northeast. Absolutely. And of course, one of the busiest airports in the country, that's O'Hare in Chicago. Now, Winter Storm Cato isn't a direct threat there. Yeah, but delays in the East could have a big impact on what happens in the Midwest, of course. NBC's Wendy Wolfolk is live in O'Hare. Wendy, what's the latest? Good afternoon, Vivian and Alex. We're pretty much in a lull here at Chicago O'Hare International. It's kind of surprising to say on one of the busiest holiday travel days of the year. But as you can see behind me, there's kind of an ebb and flow going on here in the security lines. Can't complain very much. They're moving pretty sw smoothly, five to ten minutes at the most. I'm not sure that the airports out east could say the same, and that's not good news when the Thanksgiving travel numbers are up. Whether by air or by roadway, an estimated 46 million people will travel this holiday weekend. I'm coming from the, the Twin Cities. I'm going to Ohio. And with gas prices down 84 cents since April, drivers will have a lot of company on the highways this year. I hate to say it, but, you know, under three dollars, it, it's free. What isn't free by any stretch? Airline travel. Please place your larger bag in the overhead. In fact, ticket prices are up slightly from this time last year. What we tend to see for this holiday period is that people will travel regardless. Those extra fifty hundred dollars they may be paying per ticket isn't going to keep them from going to visit their family. But what could hinder those visits? The weather. I'm very happy. Very happy we're going to make it out before the storm. Other travelers won't be so lucky as a nor'easter is forecast to make its way up the eastern seaboard. Snow, sleet, and freezing rain could impact holiday travel this year. And a major storm on the east coast can have a ripple effect across the country. The airline advice? Check your email and download your airline's app for the latest delays or cancellations. We'd rather have people wait out storm at, at their homes as opposed to being stuck at the airport. And no matter what your method of travel, always pack your patience. Fortunately, at this point for the Midwest and all these connecting flights, we are not seeing much of a ripple effect yet here at O'Hare. I don't want to jinx this, though, because we are only halfway through this very busy travel day. As we've said many times, make sure you get those apps that can update you on your flight schedule. And as we've said before, pack your patience. It could be a long day for you. Live in Chicago, I'm Wendy Wolfolk. Vivian and Alex, back to you. All right, thanks so much, Wendy. We appreciate it there in Chicago, of course, not being directly impacted by any sort of wintry weather. But the key to remember is big hubs in the east. Mm -hmm. And when those slow down, mm -hmm. trickle down effect for everyone else. And as we say, say in this business, it's the snowball effect, right? Exactly, <laughs> okay. exactly. Well, coming up next, it is your winter weather update. Plus, a check on the winds for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And that all-important Black Friday shopping forecast. You know we have that for you. Some pretty good shopping weather expected by the end of the week. Yes, it's uh, not today, though. We're looking nah. pretty messy here in the east. Mid-Atlantic northward, we're dealing with it. Notice where that rain and snow line here is for you. Pretty much right along 
Interstate 95 at this point. You head west of it, you're fully in the snow. East of it, you're dealing with rain at this hour. Yeah, that's right. So right along the immediate coastal areas, but you don't have to go too far inland, and it all changes over to white. So kind of a white Thanksgiving instead of a white Christmas this year. Phil, what happened to you? Oh, it's Black Friday. It's crazy. Saved hundreds. How'd you make out? Well, I slept in and saved thousands. Getting 20% cash back anywhere else might save you hundreds, but at your Buick dealer, it will save you thousands. Today through Monday is your last chance to make your best deal on a Buick sedan and stock the longest and get cash back for 20% of the MSRP. That's almost $8,000 on this lacrosse. But hurry, after Monday, this deal is over. Zantac Heartburn Alert! Stop! Nexium can take 24 hours to work. Zantac's different. Zantac rushes relief in as little as 30 minutes. For relief without the wait, try Zantac. No pill relieves heartburn faster. Average women's tees versus a gawking gopher. Duluth trading long tail tees versus a gawking gopher. The Duluth long tail tee. Two extra inches to defend your back end. Get one only at DuluthTrading.com. Introducing York Minis. A bite-sized way to enjoy the full-size sensation of peppermint and rich, dark chocolate. York Minis. Get the sensation. Sunday nights this winter, we're joining these extreme fortune seekers gambling on the dig of their lives. Get down now! This ain't a good place to make a mistake. It's the season for sugar and spice. Measuring. Mixing. Melting. Stirring things up. It's a sip. A taste. A nibble. It's the perfect time to let us do the cooking. Find the perfect platters for your event in our Gather and Share brochure. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. At City Furniture, every mattress we sell is covered by a 120-night security blanket. So you'll always know you got the best price on the best names in bedding. A Beauty Sleep Queen mattress set, just $4.99. Or buy a select Beautyrest hybrid mattress and get the box spring free. Plus, enjoy same-day delivery and no interest for 18 months. See for yourself in the showroom or at cityfurniture.com. 5-6. Or go to humanabigbook.com. The savings are too big to miss. Look at this! Listen to that! See this winter like never before. Amazing starts here. The Weather Channel mornings, coming up next. Stay tuned for your local in the eights, brought to you by Exodus Gods and Kings, in theaters December 12th. Moses, have you come to negotiate? I don't think so. You send assassins to kill me. Next time, do it yourself. For eternity. Exodus. Gods and Kings. Ready PG-13. Currently in our area, 67 degrees under cloudy skies. Today, overcast, high 68, winds north-northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, some clouds this evening will give way to mainly clear skies overnight, low 53. Thursday, mainly sunny, high 74, winds north-northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook.
we're taking a live look at how things are faring for us in Patterson Falls there in New Jersey. Yeah, winter wonderland here for you. Really a pretty picture, no doubt about it. But if you're trying to travel, that's the different story. It's nice to look at, not nice to be involved in if you're trying to get somewhere, right? It's all thanks to our winter storm, Kato, which is working its way up the East Coast. A lot of snow through the interior, and we're going to watch some of that snow begin to work its way towards some of the coastal spots. Now, notice what we have in place. Winter storm warnings all the way from Maine, working way back even into parts of West Virginia. So rather large area there and winter weather advisory sort of surrounding that. In all, we're talking about 41 million people impacted by this particular storm system. So let's get into it. Here's the radar and look at the shield of snow that we're finding here from parts of West Virginia sliding all the way now into sections of Maine and then right along the immediate coast. We haven't changed over to any snow in those areas. It's rainforest at this point right along the Jersey Shore working away towards the Delmarva. But I tell you, it's right along 95 and west where you'll get into some of that snow and watching for those visibilities. They are way down in some cases here right around the Court Concord area. Quarter mile visibility there, tough to see. Getting down around Poughkeepsie, half a mile visibility and then continuing a little bit farther to the south where Hagerstown, your visibility is down to three quarters of a mile. Not so bad for you, at least right now at Reagan. Uh, we're talking five mile visibility and same for you as you head up towards Philadelphia, but we could see that change as some of that snow begins to move on in. Now here we are checking in on I-95 in and around the Baltimore area, pretty much 95 at 395, and things are moving pretty smoothly here. Generally just dealing with at this point of the rain, but again, we do anticipate some of that snow to begin to move on in there. In fact, let's take you through today. Pink areas, the rain and snow changing over to snow as we head through the rest of the afternoon, including spots like New York City. Tonight, you'll be dealing with all snow, and then by tomorrow, this thing quickly gets out, and it's a much quieter scenario here for us along that 95 corridor and points inland as well. Then we work our way into northern sections of Maine, still hanging on to a bit of snow there. And that's where we generally think some of the bigger totals of snow will be. This is the snowfall forecast uh, through tonight. Darker shades of purple. There we go getting into Maine. A foot to a foot and a half. And then we start to get into the lighter shades of purple, about five to eight inches possible here for you. Northern parts of Jersey and then lighter amounts as we start to get into the mid-Atlantic in and around D.C., a couple of inches possible there for you. So let's time you out in New York for today. Rain and snow for us early. Then we'll start to transition to all snow for our rest of the afternoon. Those roads will become a little slicker out there for you. It looks like by the time we get into the overnight period, the snow will begin to taper off, but not before we see a good one to three inches of the snow. Tomorrow we're done with the snow. Now we're dealing with the clouds and we'll also see the road conditions really begin to improve out there for you. Quick check on Boston for you. It's rainy for most of today, but very windy. That could lead to some issues out of the airports. Then tonight it's snow and we could be talking three to five inches for you in the city. Vivian? All right, the snow for today, but tomorrow the sun will return across a good part of the Northeast and the parade will begin. You'll see all of the big, beautiful floats. Say hello to Kermit for me. I love Kermit. Kermit, that's my homeboy. Did you know that we were both born in Leland, Mississippi? I love Kermit. But here is a look at the winds now. We don't anticipate the winds to be that strong, but if they do get up to about good 23 miles an hour, that may kind of uh, hold the balloons down and the parade will not be able to be as festive with the balloons. And even if the winds are gusting over 34 miles per hour, then of course the balloons cannot go up. But we're not expecting that tomorrow. The wind will be light for the most part. They'll be out of the west to northwest as you can see here, but only maybe up to about six miles per hour at times in the New York City area. And the sun will eventually come out as the parade wears on. We're looking at peaks of sunshine as you can see by noontime in the New York City area. What about Black Friday? The forecast says you get out and get all of those good deals. For the whole nation, we're looking good for some good sales, right? From the northeast down into the southeast. Look at Dallas. Great shopping weather. 68 degrees. And Denver, it looks good for you. Temperatures in the middle 60s. The only wet spot will be in the Pacific Northwest. But just grab that umbrella and take care of business as usual. From I wonder what it is to you'll never guess. Everything from L.L. Bean is backed by the same rock solid guarantee. So while they keep guessing, you know that we'll take it back or replace it. L.L. Bean. Guaranteed to please. 
Surely a vacuum shouldn't just work on carpets. Well, the Dyson DC65 has better overall performance across all floors than any other vacuum. Works for me. Save up to $150 on select Dyson machines. At Pep Boys, we've got big holiday deals going on right now. Like a Torin two-ton jack for only $10, or an electric razor scooter for just $99. And when you buy three select tires, you get the fourth free instantly. Trust the boys to get you there. Black Friday deals are here early, which means it's time to start saving on tools and gifts at Lowe's. Hurry in now for $100 off this Cobalt Mechanics tool set and $150 off this DeWalt NICAD combo kit. Don't miss out on the year's best deals at Lowe's. Celebrate Black Friday early and get to Dick's Sporting Goods. Whether it's shoes for the off-season or the headphones to get you in the zone. Get a gift that matters to every athlete on your list. Like this great deal on the North Face Fleece or NCAA Fleece and Hoodies. We even have Nike Fleece on sale. Plus great deals on basketball hoops and gun safes. Even treadmills and ellipticals. If you can't decide, give a Dick's gift card. This Christmas you can save on gifts from the Diamond to the Lynx or even down the mountain. Deals start Thanksgiving Day at 5 p.m. or all day at Dick's.com. Every Black Friday starts at Dick's. Under the roof of a home or business, damage can happen. When it does, turn to the specialists who put help in the palm of your hand. The Ready App and Emergency Response Plans from 1-800-SERVE-PRO. Like it never even happened. <coughs> Sir, we're loaded and getting ready to go. We're going to need you on the runway. Don't let a severe cold hold you back. Sir? Theraflu starts to get to work in your body in just five minutes. Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu, serious power. Musical chairs, fun, right? Well, not when your travel rewards card makes it so hard to get a seat using your miles. That's their game. The flights you want are blacked out, or they ask for some ridiculous number of miles. Honestly, it's time to switch to the Venture card from Capital One. With Venture, use your miles on any airline, any flight, any time, no blackout dates. And with every purchase, you'll earn unlimited double miles. From now on, no one's taking your seat away. What's in your wallet? It's Ram commercial truck season. And if you want to build something ahead of its time, You'll need trucks that are ahead of the rest. Trucks with the best fuel economy, 28 MPG highway. The best towing, 30,000 pounds. Best torque, 865 pound feet. And the best payload, over 4,400 pounds. The complete lineup of Ram commercial vehicles is ready to help you start building tomorrow. Get a great deal during Ram commercial truck season. Thanksgiving Day on NBC stays big all day long. It begins with Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Then, the National Dog Show presented by Purina. And after an encore of the parade, it's a showdown between the champion Seahawks and the 49ers. It all starts 9 a.m. everywhere Thanksgiving Day on NBC. Currently in our area, 67 degrees under cloudy skies. Today, overcast, high 68, winds north-northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, some clouds this evening will give way to mainly clear skies overnight, low 53. Thursday, mainly sunny, high 74, winds north-northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. winter like never before amazing starts here the weather channel mornings snow from winter storm cato falling in the appalachians this is the airport in lewisburg west virginia the tarmac covered on the busiest travel day of the year thank you so much uh, for chris actually for sending us this video 
And we thank you for keeping it tuned to Weather Center Live. I'm Vivian Brown. And I'm Alex Wallace. This winter storm Cato, it is uh, certainly showing its teeth. Visibility dropping low in a lot of areas, and so is that snow. In fact, right now we've got about 19 million people who are under a winter storm warning, and even more as you if you include winter weather advisories. So yeah, it is quite a bit of a mess stretching from the central Appalachian chain all the way up into New England. Big snow totals are expected in some of these areas. Could be talking a foot to a foot and a half before it's all said and done. Looks like the immediate coast will escape the brunt of this system. But let's get the very latest on Cato now with Vivian. All right, winter storm Cato. We said before it's all said and done, we do think it will be done by tomorrow on Thanksgiving Day. But oh boy, do we have another, what, 20 hours to go before we could say really good riddance to the system. So this is the local radar out of D.C. The blue is indicating where we have snow. The green, that's where we have rain. And you can see we're right on the rain snow line from Baltimore more to Washington DC a little closer to the coast though it's all rain and it's been coming down pretty heavily over the entire state of Delaware for the most part the Patuxent River we're talking about the heavier rain but you don't have to go too far inland to get it to change over to snow and much of the same around Philadelphia you're kind of on that rain snow line right on the cusp right now with temperatures in the middle 30s it could change over to all snow of course as we get closer to the uh, dusk hours as the sun goes down and those temperatures will drop quite a bit and the moisture will still be in place. So we're talking several inches in the Philadelphia area before all is said and done. The same in New York City. Look at the current temperature, 35. We've had a mixture of rain and snow going back and forth from time to time over the last several hours, New York City. And we could easily see now three, four inches before all is said and done in the city. And you don't have to go too far west of the city for it to really crank up to some heavier amounts in terms of snow. Certainly that's the case for you, Boston. Right now we have 39 degrees with rain being reported, but if you get on the interstate and head west toward the Worcester area and it all changes over to snow. Again, we're talking about a large area of snow expected across much of the northeast and here is a look at the totals. Now, a little closer to the coast and some of the bigger cities, one to three inches maybe in Philadelphia, a little bit more than that in the New York City area. We're watching Hartford, Boston. Again, three to five inches are possible, but inland, maybe up to 12 inches before all is said and done. Alex? Oh, well, if you're driving today in the east or flying, you've got your work cut out for you, but some travelers are changing plans to hopefully avoid Cato's impact. NBC's Tom Costello reports. Uh, yeah, I got it. 42, yeah, 4107 there, too. At the United Airlines Command Center in Chicago, the pressure is on. I've got a Newark, Chicago flight that's coming in uh, through the weather right now. We've got flexibility. We've got spare aircraft. We've got spare crews. Nationwide, the system will be tested over the next few days with 5 million of us in the air. The military is opening up restricted airspace for commercial flights over Thanksgiving. More highways in the sky that we can move uh, planes through uh, to get people to their destination efficiently. And already the major carriers are waiving ticket change fees for passengers trying to avoid the storm. Meanwhile, on the ground and in the storm's crosshairs, I-95, that critical artery on the East Coast, just as 41 million Americans hit the road this week. Reporting live from Maryland. Taking no chances, the Sands family left New York a day early for North Carolina. Hopefully we, we beat the weather and we'll get there safely. Outside Boston, Sherry Schneider and her kids were headed to the airport a day early after rebooking their flight to avoid the storm. We changed our flights to leave one day early. We beat the crowds and we beat the storm. If you're flying, the expert advice when checking in online, provide your email and phone number to receive the flight updates and keep an eye on FlightAware's misery map for the latest airport delays and cancellations. All right, that was Tom Costello reporting there for you. And here's how things are going to fare for you if you are doing any traveling for the day, if you're able to do so. We're watching that snow creeping its way towards the coast right across the uh, 95 quarter as we progress through the rest of our afternoon into the evening. Really, travel is becoming much worse for us. Places like Philly, New York, eventually Boston tonight and through the overnight period. Heading into your Turkey Day morning, much improved situation. Notice we're drying these areas along 95. The only real spot dealing with some snow. 
far northern sections of Maine. So Philly, let's start with you. We've got the rain mixing with some snow for us. Little accumulation is expected out there for you. The roadways could become a bit on the slushy side out there for us. Then as we head into tonight, we'll see a mostly a transition to the snow out there. But then as we start to get into tomorrow morning, clearing will take place out there and we should be at that point dealing with just some wet roadways and for most of tomorrow actually not too bad partly to we'll call it mostly cloudy skies not too much sun but dry no travel problems expected tomorrow as those temperatures get a chance to bump up to right around 40 degrees or so so in and around philadelphia totals here for you you can see in the city talking less than an inch but just north of the town we could be talking one to three and then you really start to ramp it up as you get up into places like Reading. popular destination for of course outlet mall shopping could be tough getting there five to eight inches allentown as well so it doesn't take too far heading north and west to get into some of the bigger snows new york here for you rain and snow changing over to all snow for our rest of the day Roads will certainly start to become a little slicker out there, so that'll be the concern. Tonight, the snow will begin to taper off out there for you, but it's not before we see one to three, maybe even some higher totals there for you, particularly north and west of town, and the roadways will be slippery even as we head into tonight. Tomorrow, cloudy skies out there for you, but the road conditions shall improve. So Turkey Day looks better. Temperatures out there will steadily be in the 30s, and you can see the snow totals around the city. About three to five here for you in the city itself. One to three as you head south, but then you start to bump up pretty rapidly into those bigger totals, five to eight inches. That includes you around Morristown and heading up towards, uh, well, just north of uh, the Morristown area, heading up 287. We start to talk about getting close to a foot of snow. So this is going to be a problem for us here as we head on through the rest of our day. Vivian? All right, thanks, Alex. That is definitely our main story, Winter Storm Cato. But we're also watching another little clipper system. More snow is expected with this system over parts of the Midwest. You're looking live at Minneapolis. You can see how dark the skies are. St. Louis, much of the same for you. As we have this little next clipper system swinging through the area, it too, as a mentioned will bring snow not as heavy as what we're expecting with Cato but snow nonetheless again you're looking at the local radar out of St. Louis the green is indicating where the rain is but look at on the west side of the city that's where it's trying to change over and mix in with a little bit of snow right now and even as we take you into Cedar Rapids Iowa you can see interstate 80 north and south going east and west here interstate 35 is north and south but 35 as you head up to Minneapolis and you'll run into some of the snow, mainly on the south side of the city. And we're talking about several inches here before all is said and done. It's just a fast moving little weak clipper system that's swinging through the area. Here is a look at the forecast. It'll kind of swing through parts of southern Kentucky, maybe northern Tennessee, and then weaken quite a bit as it tries to move on through the central Appalachians and off the coast here. But it'll bring a narrow swath of one to three inches of light snow we're believing over parts of the Midwest. So we'll keep you updated on this clipper system as well. All right, keep it tuned right here. We'll keep you updated for sure. Currently in our area, 65 degrees under cloudy skies. This afternoon, cloudy with a few showers, high 67. Chance of rain, 30%. Tonight, some clouds this evening will give way to mainly clear skies overnight. Low, 53. Thursday, mainly sunny. High, 74. Winds north-northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Friday is here early, so let's get charged up. Let's do performance, not there. Here, here, and here. Let's find something for the big kids without the big price tags. And take home Black Friday savings today. That's how to holiday. Let's do this. 
More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Save on this DeWalt cordless combo kit with $50 tough case, now just $148. Nourished. Rescued. Protected. Given new hope. During the Subaru Share the Love event, Subaru owners feel it too. Because when you take home a new Subaru, we donate $250 to helping those in need. We'll have given $50 million over seven years. Love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. She's still the one for you. And Cialis for daily use helps you be ready anytime the moment is right. Cialis is also the only daily ED tablet approved to treat symptoms of BPH, like needing to go frequently. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions and medicines and ask if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Do not take Cialis if you take nitrates for chest pain as it may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Do not drink alcohol in excess. Side effects may include headache, upset stomach, delayed backache, or muscle ache. To avoid long-term injury, get medical help right away for an erection lasting more than four hours. If you have any sudden decrease or loss in hearing or vision or any allergic reactions like rash, hives, swelling of the lips, tongue, or throat, or difficulty breathing or swallowing, stop taking Cialis and get medical help right away. Ask your doctor about Cialis for daily use and a free 30-tablet trial. True Blend has the perfect blend for each of us. CoverGirl Pink, blend of Rockstar and Mama Bear. Her True Blend? Light 4. Janelle, blend of punk and funk. Deep 6. Sophia, comedian and Colombiana. Medium 6. There's a True Blend to match 99% of all women. Find yours. It blends in. Doesn't build up. For a flawless nude look. So easy. Breezy. Beautiful CoverGirl. Find your True Blend at CoverGirl.com. From restoring damage in just one room to an entire building, turn to the cleanup team that's here in your community and here to help at 1-800-SERVE-PRO like it never even happened. Pay attention because winning Black Friday actually starts Thursday at 6 p.m. with the one-hour guarantee. Get top gifts at low prices guaranteed in time for Christmas, plus hundreds more items at Black Friday prices. Then at 8 p.m., even more items unlock at crazy low prices. And it's still Thursday. Then on Friday between 6 a.m. and 12 p.m., get 30% off select items from top brands and departments. Black Friday on Friday? Crazy! So get to Walmart on Thursday. And just never leave. Black Friday starts Thursday at 6 p.m. Plan yours at Walmart.com. Summer's over. The kids have grown two sizes. We all need new coats. Burlington has so many great options for the season. Scarves, jackets, shoes, great brands. And the prices won't break the bank. Three kids coats for under $90. Look out, Winter. Here come the Wilsons. You are watching the Weather Channel and we are watching Winter Storm Cato. It is a winter storm that was named just 48 hours ago. And there you see it, widespread snow we're dealing with over the interior regions of Massachusetts, much of New England, all the way down into Pennsylvania, New York City. A mixture of rain and snow we've been watching over the last several hours. You can see the rain snow line there pushing right through Philadelphia, Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. The green, of course, indicating the rain, the blue, that's where it is snowing and snowing a little heavier where you see the darker shades of blue. So we are watching this winter storm very closely for you. Several inches in the big cities expected before all is said and done. In fact, our team of meteorologists is working around the clock to keep you updated hour by hour as you and your family hit the roads and head to the airports for Thanksgiving. Check out Reagan National Airport for the latest on the mounting delays in the air. Let's go now to meteorologist Alex Wallace. All right, thanks so much, Viv. And no doubt about it, we're watching it closely as the plane flies by. I got to step out of the way here for you. And notice across the nation, a lot of green dots from the west to the middle to the south. But you get into that northeast quadrant, you start to see more colors showing up out there for you. The reds and the oranges indicating where we've got delays in the moderate to even severe range. That includes heading from a LaGuardia down towards Philly, the JFK area. Area. And again, it's all thanks to our winter storm Cato, which is bringing us some of the problems here. Either it's the rain or the snow having uh, the impact on us at this point. All right, let's talk about exactly what's going on with these delays. And you can see 
We're looking good at Boston, Baltimore, and D.C. at this point, but look at Newark right now. Three plus hours in terms of delays here for you. That is not a good situation if you are trying to travel, that is for sure. In fact, here's a, some of the hubs all around New York City from Newark to LaGuardia and JFK all dealing with the problems. It's rain and snow in Newark at this point with temperatures that are in the middle 30s. A bit of a wind out of the north northeast at 16 miles per hour out there for you, and the visibility has been reduced quite a bit as well out there for you. Moving into the Midwest, Zeros are showing up in all of these spots. That's some good news here for you. Not too long ago, Minneapolis was dealing with some issues here uh, with some delays thanks to the clipper system moving through. But you can see now some of the lighter snows in play and we're going to get into that back edge before long and we will start to see things improving. But even right now, visibility down around two miles. So good news here, at least in Minneapolis, we are dealing with too many problems here. How about in the south? Well, all is great for us from the ATL towards Houston, all the way towards Raleigh, looking good with the zeros. But again, we got to be careful with those zeros because all in all total cancellations of flights within to and in the U.S. approaching almost 600. So even though delays are saying zero, if your flights are connecting out of those spots in the Northeast could be a problem. Vivian? All right. We are definitely here to help you get to your Thanksgiving destination safely. But what about your trip home after Thanksgiving as you head back? Let's detail the overall weather conditions for you. From a national perspective on Friday, we're looking good for the 90 corridor because winter storm Cato will be out of here on Thursday but you can see we're looking at mostly sunny conditions from New York down to Charlotte Miami what a great Friday shaping up maybe a little bit of additional snow here over the northern Great Lakes and uh, looking very nice in Denver and Dallas temperatures in the mid to upper 80s but the wettest conditions will be in the Pacific Northwest so interstate 5 could be a little slick and slippery on Friday Saturday much of the same even down to to San Francisco perhaps and we're looking at snow could start to develop in the higher terrain of Montana and Idaho on Saturday and here's a quick look at Sunday still watching this system with widespread snow over the northern Rockies and rain along the coast it looks as though we'll clear out though on Sunday in the Seattle area and then watching another little system clip its way across the Ohio Valley this time we're talking rain and not snow temperatures in the 40s for Chicago and even over to New York York City on Sunday. We're talking cloudy conditions with temperatures in the upper 40s. Nashville, mostly sunny or mostly cloudy, should I say, with temperatures in the middle 60s. Back to you, Alex. Hi, Billy. Well, we want to see your Winter Storm Cato videos, but stay safe while you're taking them. So to send them to us, you want to text the phrase Cato to the number 95577. That's C A T O to 95577. And we'll be showing them on air. Remember, message and data rates do apply out there for you. So again, we want to see those videos. When you're taking those videos, make sure you turn your phone horizontally. That's the best way to send it to us. And then again, send that phrase Cato to the number 95577 and you'll get a prompt on what to do next. Here's how winter storm Cato is impacting us here in the mid-Atlantic to the northeast. Snow working its way along that 95 corridor. Black Friday deals are here early, which means it's time to start saving on appliances at Lowe's. Hurry in now for up to 40% off select major appliances, plus 5% off with your Lowe's card. Don't miss out on the year's best deals at Lowe's. Check. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. <gasps> no! Energizer protects your devices from damaging leaks. Guaranteed. By the end of the day, my dogs were barking. They used to get really tired. <laughs> Until I started gelling. It's just awesome gel, only in Dr. Scholl's massaging gel insoles. It's like walking on a wave. I love my Dr. Scholl's massaging gel insoles. When they're in my shoes, my feet and legs feel less tired. They've got two layers for support and cushioning. It's dual wave technology, so I feel energized. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Check Sunday's paper to save $5 on select Dr. Scholl's products. I'm a believer. Everyone sees the same sky, but when we look up, we see something amazing. This winter, you've got to watch the Weather Channel mornings. It's going to have wide-ranging impacts. Winter storms are too important to cover in just a few minutes. It's going to be brutal for a lot of people. Because it's not just about your forecast. That's why those temperatures stay cold. Look at this! Listen to that! See this winter like never before. Amazing starts here. The Weather Channel mornings.
Currently in our area, 65 degrees under cloudy skies. This afternoon, cloudy with a few showers. High, 67. Chance of rain, 30%. Tonight, some clouds this evening will give way to mainly clear skies overnight. Low, 53. Thursday, mainly sunny. High, 74. Winds north-northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Minor damage or major disaster. When you need us most, we're there. State Farm. We're a force of nature, too. Zantac Heartburn Alert! Stop! Nexium can take 24 hours to work. Zantac's different. Zantac rushes relief in as little as 30 minutes. For relief without the wait, try Zantac. No pill relieves heartburn faster. Sweetie, I'd love a hazelnut. Mom, Dad, Big Uncle Wayne. Hot chocolate. Green tea. Uh, decaf because. Wow. I'm dying for herbal tea. The all-new Keurig 2.0 is here. Your heart is precious. One of many ways to support its health is new True Heart from One a Day. It's the only heart health supplement with ingredients to both help lower bad cholesterol and support healthy blood pressure, and also includes CoQ10. Try new True Heart. Phil, what happened to you? Oh, it's Black Friday. It's crazy. Saved hundreds. How'd you make out? Well, I slept in and saved thousands. Getting 20% cash back anywhere else might save you hundreds, but at your Buick dealer, it will save you thousands. Today through Monday is your last chance to make your best deal on a Buick sedan and... Now with the Xfinity TV Go app, you can watch live TV anytime. It's never been easier with so many networks all in one place. Get live TV whenever you want. The Xfinity TV Go app. Now with live TV on the go. Enjoy over Wi-Fi or on Verizon Wireless 4G LTE. Plus, enjoy special savings when you purchase any new Verizon Wireless smartphone or tablet from Comcast. Visit comcast.com slash wireless to learn more. At the watershed, we believe in recovery. We believe that every alcoholic and addict deserves the opportunity to be healed. Our team of addiction professionals will address the underlying causes of your addiction while treating you with dignity and respect. We've helped thousands of patients recover from this seemingly hopeless state of mind and body. Addicts can recover. Addicts do recover. No matter how hopeless the situation seems, the time to get help is now. Call the watershed today. And shipping is always free. Visit DealDash.com and start bidding today. Our experts are all over the region tracking winter storm Cato. We'll tell you what to expect minute by minute. Only on the Weather Channel. Oh, winter storm Cato bringing a mix of rain and even some snow across the New York City area on one of the busiest travel days of the year. A couple of shots to show you here with the Big Apple. We start you off with Rockefeller Plaza. And yeah, we've seen some occasional snowflakes here and there hitting the, the tree right now, just dealing with some wet weather there. Then we head to Fifth Avenue. Yeah, of course, a popular destination for some high-end shopping. Looks like wet streets here and folks with umbrellas because we're dealing with the rainy problems. And then we take you to Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah, you can barely see it because we're obscured thanks to some of the raindrops on the lens there for you. So 
Again, Winter Storm Kato certainly packing its punch here across parts of the Northeast. Let's get you to what's happening here uh, with this particular system, bringing you snow and rain for a good chunk of the eastern uh, seaboard. There's what's going on in terms of our winter alerts. Dark shades of blue, winter storm warnings, and then the lighter shades sort of surrounding that winter weather advisories. And all, we're talking about 41 million people impacted here uh, from this system. The blue areas here on the radar, that's where we've got our snow issues. And then the green is pretty much right along 95 and east where we're finding now of uh, the rain. But that rain snow line is trying to work its way east here for you. One thing I also want to point out here is we've noticed here in the last couple of hours, notice we just showed up there in northeastern parts of Maryland. It'll loop here for you again. They're right there. Lightning strikes. Yeah, and there were a ton of them there in the northeast just of the, of the Baltimore area and even a few here not too far from the New York area. There they go popping up as well. In fact, one report said the thunder was so loud, car alarms started going off. Just incredible here. So we're getting some thunder snow here from the system and visibility that's down as well. In a lot of cases here, we're talking around Albany, a half a mile visibility, even less the worst area, quarter mile visibility. And we continue southbound from there and around State College, one mile visibility for you. So really getting a little tougher here for travels. Here we are along Interstate 81 and we've got uh, traffic moving pretty smoothly here. That's a good news, but certainly wet pavement and some of the surrounding areas, the grassy areas, that that's where you're seeing some snow. So as we head through today, we'll watch the snow issues continue to work their way towards that 95 corridor. Tonight, it's all snow for you to deal with there in places like New York City, changing over from rain to rain and snow in Boston. And then as we get in towards tomorrow, things much, much quieter out there. Much, much uh, a better scenario here for Turkey Day itself. Vivian? All right, well, when you're filling up on turkey and all the fixings this Thanksgiving, did you know that the more calories we take in can actually protect us from the cold weather elements? Well, it's true. Our own Sam Champion looks at how it all works in this edition of Brainstorm. tests have shown that an exposure of 15 minutes in sub-freezing conditions can drop core body temperature by up to 2 degrees and the temperature of someone's extremities by more than 20 degrees. One way to combat this temperature change is by consuming food. A lot of it. Eating a high volume of food increases what's called dietary-induced thermogenesis, which is the heat energy expended from chemical reactions in the body during digestion. This output of energy is especially high after eating a high-protein meal, like a Thanksgiving dinner. In fact, the energy produced from a big Thanksgiving meal is enough to power a microwave oven for about five and a half minutes. And this energy can actually cause core body temperature to rise by up to two degrees. As we found out when we re-exposed our subjects to chilling temperatures after dinner, this additional heat energy enabled their core body temperatures to never drop below the normal 98.6 degrees. So when it's cold outside this Thanksgiving, don't feel guilty about cleaning your plate and then some. And now you've been brainstormed. Sam Champion, The Weather Channel. All right, thanks very much, Sam. Well, you know what? We are The Weather Channel, so let's take a break from the snow and the cold for a moment and take you to one part of the country uh -huh. that's enjoying beautiful weather, and that is South Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, check out the Miami Beach. Your temperature is going to be climbing to near 80 degrees. Folks, there, they're packed on the beach, no doubt about it. In South Florida, yeah, you're in store for an amazing Thanksgiving. 75 degrees, Viv, almost close to your perfect temperature. Almost my perfect temperature which is 76, by the way. But as we always say, it is amazing out there, in particular, Miami. Currently in our area, 64 degrees under cloudy skies. This afternoon, cloudy with a few showers, high 67. Chance of rain, 30%. Tonight, some clouds this evening will give way to mainly clear skies overnight. Low 53.
Thursday, mainly sunny. High 74. Winds north northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Winter storm Kato is causing major holiday headaches. We're talking ice snow already falling from the mid-Atlantic to Maine. You include some rain in there as well. Some places could see more than a foot of that snow by Thanksgiving. And travel conditions are deteriorating fast. Nearly 3,000 flights already delayed or canceled. And roads will become a major concern as, this, as the temperatures drop. Everything you need to know about the weather and your travel plans over the next 24 hours. Thank you so much for joining us for Weather Center Live. I'm Vivian Brown. And I'm Alex Wallace. Winter Storm Cato. It is moving up the East Coast right now on, well, the busiest travel day of the year. Yeah, it's already taking its toll. About 19 million people are under winter storm warning at this hour. And according to the Flight Aware system, more than 2,300 flights into or out of the United States are delayed. Almost 600 flights have been canceled. And the roads, well, they're also a big concern. The Sunshine Skyway in Shenandoah National Park, well, that's closed. And the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation, they're asking drivers to avoid I-81 during this storm. Now, let's get you a live look right now at some of the conditions in New York. And, well, I tell you, we've got ourselves dealing with a bit of wet weather. Also, we've seen some snowflakes at time. Here we are looking in on, of course, the tree at Rockefeller Center. And right now, it's raining for you, and streets seem to be just wet which is good news here, but we do anticipate Vivian that snow to move on in as we head through the rest of the afternoon. Yeah, not the prettiest of Thanksgiving eves here in the New York City area, but tomorrow will be much better. We'll have a lot to give thanks for. Winter Storm Cato, that's the system that we're watching today. That is already bringing a mixture of rain and snow from the mid-Atlantic into New England. This is a look at the local radar out of D.C. and Baltimore, and you can see now the blue is indicating where some of the snow is falling. It's still raining though, say to the east of the snow area, much of the state of Delaware and the eastern parts here of Virginia. But we're watching D.C. because again, it's been a mixture of the rain and snow. It's either a wet snow or a very chilly rain that we're dealing with. And much of the same in Philadelphia. Again, the current temperature is 37, but some of that snow is holding on. It's a wet snow. As you go west of the city, it changes over to all snow though. And we're talking about about some pretty significant amounts, as much as a couple of inches, maybe up to three inches in the cities from D.C. to Philadelphia. Now, even more possibly in New York City, maybe three to five inches before all is said and done. The temperature right now, New York, 34. So it's been kind of a mixture of the chilly rain and the wet snow so far. But then as you head northward into parts of Connecticut and it's changing over to pretty much all snow, certainly on the northwestern part of the state, look at Hartford. Checking in with 32 degrees and some light snow right now. Boston in the city, maybe one to three inches, but as soon as you go west outside of the city and it'll all change over to snow. And we're talking about the mountains west of Boston near the Berkshires. And as you head over to the Worcester area, very heavy snowfall amounts expected. So look at the large swath of rain and snow that we're dealing with over the northeast, according to the current radar. And before all is said and done, here we go. The snowfall totals through tonight, 12 to 18 inches, where you see the darker purple. And of course, that's over the interior regions of Maine through southern Vermont and New Hampshire. And just outside of Boston, there you see we could be picking up as much as a foot of snow. Northwestern Connecticut and north of New York City, the heaviest amount. But again, in the city, maybe a couple of inches. And we'll be here, of course, keeping you updated on the snowfall totals. Alex? All right, Vivian. Well, you know, right now, the snow falling a little sooner than expected in some of the major cities like New York. So how are all of the travelers handing, handling winter storm Cato? WNBC's Harry Chickma reports from Edgewater, New Jersey. 
We're here on the Hudson River in Edgewater, New Jersey, just about one mile away from Manhattan, and already this wintry mix picking up and creating problems for those people trying to make it to their Thanksgiving holiday destinations. Already over 200 flights have been canceled in the tri-state area at Newark LaGuardia and JFK airports, and the airlines are doing everything they can to try to help people get to their destinations. They've lowered their change fees so people can reroute their flights and, and get to where they have to go. However, this is a mix of rain and snow uh, causing the walkways to be very slick, also poor visibility on the highways. And it's only going to pick up throughout the afternoon and the evening in northwest New Jersey. Also in New England, we will see the heaviest accumulation and definitely a big problem for anyone trying to get to their Thanksgiving Day celebrations. Although the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade will take place tomorrow in Manhattan. And one other bright note, the ferries are running right now from New Jersey to New York. Reporting in Edgewater, I'm Harry Chickma. All right, thanks so much, Harry. And here's how the rest of our day will be playing out. Blue areas, that's the snow. Then we get into the pink here, that's the rain and snow. And notice it's right along that sort of 95 quarter. But as we head through the day, there's your timestamp. Notice now a lot of the areas that were dealing with the rain and snow, now you're dealing with all snow tonight. And then overnight period, mostly New England having to deal with the snowy issues. And then by tomorrow morning, it's just now far northern stretches of Maine. Everyone else gets a chance to really dry out. So let's talk about Philadelphia specifically. Today, we've got the rain mixing with a bit of snow out there for you. A little. A little bit of accumulation expected and some of the roadways could become a bit on the slushy side. Then tonight, after we transition to mostly snow, we'll start to see that begin to come to an end out there for you. And by the time we get into tomorrow morning, it should be a much clearer time out there for you. Although roadways could be on the wet side out there. Tomorrow, your Thanksgiving day, partly to mostly cloudy. So don't expect to see a whole lot of sunshine, but expect it to be drier and expect travel problems to certainly be much less than what they are now with high temperatures nearing about 40 degrees there for you. Here's how it shapes up for you in and around the city. There you are in Philadelphia itself. And again, generally talking maybe one to three inches of that snow, but we start to really get into the higher totals as we head north of town. That's where we could see some spots picking up three to five inches, trying to make your way towards the Reading area. Of course, a big destination for outlet mall shopping. Well, you may be dealing with more snow there and then even more with five to eight well north of town. Vivian? All right. Well, coming up next, the impact winter storm k -Dobe is having across the Northeast, and we'll see if there are any delays at the other major airports across the country, including one of the busiest, Chicago's O'Hare. A live report coming up next. Stay with us. Surely a vacuum shouldn't just work on carpets. Well, the Dyson DC65 has better overall performance across all floors than any other vacuum. Works for me. Save up to $150 on select Dyson machines. Ring, ring. Progresso. I can't believe I'm eating bacon and rich creamy cheese before my sister's wedding. Well, it's only 100 calories, so you'll be ready for that dress. Uh-huh. You don't love the dress? I love my sister. 40 flavors, 100 calories or less. Right now at Pep Boys, get the lowest prices on tires guaranteed. Plus, get extra big deals from 7 to 11 a.m. this Friday only. Like five quarts of Castrol and a Purolator filter for only $10. And a five-quart container of Mobile One Synthetic is just $25. Trust the boys to get you there. Nourished. Rescued. Protected. Given new hope. During the Subaru Share the Love event, Subaru owners feel it too. Because when you take home a new Subaru, we donate $250 to helping those in need. We'll have given $50 million over seven years. Love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Thanksgiving Day on NBC stays big all day long. It begins with Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Then, the National Dog Show presented by Purina. And after an encore of the parade, it's a showdown between the champion Seahawks and the 49ers. It all starts 9 a.m. everywhere Thanksgiving Day on NBC. Currently in our area, 64 degrees under cloudy skies.
this afternoon. Cloudy with a few showers. High 67. Chance of rain 30%. Tonight, some clouds this evening will give way to mainly clear skies overnight. Low 53. Thursday, mainly sunny. High 74. Winds north northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Look at this! Listen to that! See this winter like never before. Amazing starts here. The Weather Channel mornings coming up next. Black Friday savings start right now. So let's open the door to Lowe's.